No bigger than a coin and looking a bit like a jelly bean on legs, this is a noble false widow, but there's nothing false about its bite. Sutton schoolboy William Fraser checks his bedroom more carefully now after being bitten in his sleep. I feel I've got a headache, I've got my arms swollen, it's hot and I feel faint. And that was all the symptoms that were in the newspaper about it. My arm went red raw and it was burning sensation and a, bl a pus blister formed on the, my arm. It was quite uh, vicious, quite a nasty bite. Just down the road, Louisa Giordano and her husband endured a similar nighttime encounter. It became quite violent, nasty under the glass, didn't like being trapped. After suffering a strong reaction to the venom, Louisa says she's wary of a repeat attack. Once bitten, as they say. It's a bit unnerving, I have to say. I mean, um, every time I see a spider, I, I break out into a cold sweat. I think most of the population will anyway, but I'm always looking around just to make sure there's nothing around. The noble false widow, or Steatoda nobilis, came to Britain as a stowaway from the Canary Isles over a hundred years ago. Those big hairy spiders, which are wrongly called tarantulas, but, but the big hairy jobs, they used to come in fairly regularly on bananas, you know, and, and hidden away in the, in the, in the hold of ships, um, and they can get in very easily. Now it seems they're on the march. Recent sightings show they're spreading north from their traditional south coast habitat. But the experts say, don't panic. I, I wouldn't be concerned at all. They're not aggressive. Um, they're fairly calm and collected. Um, they're not in built up areas where you're gonna be moving around a lot and come into contact with them. And although the bite of the false widow can cause serious allergic reactions, they shouldn't be confused for their more infamous and far more venomous cousin, the Black Widow. Fraser Maud, Sky News.